All right, this is pre-calculus 11. This is lesson 1.1, real numbers. Unit one is called radicals and rational exponents. In this lesson, we're gonna talk about what are real numbers and how to determine if a number is rational or irrational. Some categories of numbers, of real numbers. First of all, we have natural numbers. Those are numbers that naturally occur, or numbers that occur in nature. One is a natural number. I can find one coconut in the wild. Two, I can find two apples in a tree, uh, etc. Um, let's see here. Ne whole numbers are any natural number and zero. Those are whole numbers. Integers are um, anything that's a whole number or a natural number, or their opposites. So like negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, and 0, and 1, 2, 3, and so on. So basically positives and negative whole numbers. Rational numbers are any number that can be written as a fraction. 0 0.5 can be written as 1 over 2. 0 0.25 can be written as 1 over 4. 1 over 3. Um, and then any integer, any whole number, and any natural number can be written as a fraction, and therefore they are all rational numbers. Square root of 4 can be written as 2 over 1. 1 can be written as 1 over 1. I think you get the idea. In purple, we have the kind of the, the symbol that represents those numbers. So notice they all have that double line in them. So the N with the double line stands for the set of natural numbers. The w is the set of whole numbers. The Z or the Z is the set of integers. The Q is the set of rational numbers. And the R is the set of all real numbers. We also have irrational numbers. Irrational numbers are numbers that cannot be written as a fraction. All right, so we look at decimals. Can we tell irrational from rational decimals? A decimal is rational if it is a terminating decimal or a repeating decimal. A terminating decimal is a decimal that ends at some point. So for example, B and, what's there another though? Sorry, C and F are terminating decimals. 0 0.8 and then it terminates or it ends. 0 0.325 and then it terminates or ends. So those are rational because they're terminating. Repeating decimals are decimals that have like a repeating pattern to them. So for example, uh, B and D and E and H are all examples of repeating decimals and so they are all rational. In B, we have 1, 3 that repeats. In D, we have 5 that repeats. In E, we have a bar over the 7, which means that it's 0 0.777, and the 7 just keeps repeating. In H, we have a bar over the 2, so the number is 0 0.122222, the 2 repeats. And so that would also count as a rational. Even though there's a 1 there, the 2 repeats, so it's okay, it's rational. We can write it as a fraction. Now, A and G, they're not terminating and they're not repeating decimals. So A and G would be examples of irrational numbers. So radical numbers. If a radical number is a perfect square, it's going to be a rational number. If a radical number is not a perfect square, then it's irrational. So in examples of perfect squares, 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, and so on. They're perfect squares because a number times itself equals them. Uh, 1 times 1 is 1, 2 times 2 is 4, 3 times 3 is 9, and so on. So um, 4, so A, B, and F, and H, those are all rationals because 4 and 144 and 9 and 100 are perfect squares. So those can be written as um, nice whole numbers, and so those are rational. C, D, E, and G are irrational because the radicand or the number under the radical is not a perfect square. All right, here are some more examples. Uh, same as before, just kind of jumbled up. Again, um, well, you can kind of work through those if you'd like, just some more examples. For, for decimals, are they repeating or are they terminating? Then they're rational. And for radicals, if they're a perfect square, they're rational. So some takeaways from this. Hopefully you know some different types of real numbers now. And then hopefully you can identify um, rational versus irrational numbers.
as far as decimals or radicals go. And that's it.